All right, got kind of an exciting, fun video here planned. So 10 more tractors added to the collection. I'm sorry about the wind noise in the background. I'm gonna try to keep my back to the wind so that you guys don't hear the wind. Uh, tour of the uh, tractor graveyard uh, will be coming sometime in the next week. So you guys will see that. I have to narrate that video because just like this video, there's wind except that video's cold and windy and I was kind of wore out so I didn't feel like talking for 10 minutes. So we've got a whole bunch of pallets of parts. This is probably the most stuff I ever bought. Uh, we got a two-cylinder Kubota diesel underneath that plastic there. Um, that's going to go into Sears, but I'm going to go through that stuff towards the end of the video because uh, I want to show you these tractors first. So I'm going to start off with this one. Uh, we got a 68 uh, Suburban 12. Uh, OH160 Tecumseh, I believe. Yep, that's what it looks like. You can look at the side of the block here to confirm. Uh, that is a 16, so that is in fact an OH160, 16 horsepower. It has a starter generator, but I can, you know, pull that off, put a gear starter on there like from an ST16 because this is basically an ST16 engine. Unfortunately, they cut out the side of the hood for the muffler to fit, so I might be better off just keeping that engine in there because it's already modified for that to fit, but I might pull this engine out and put a 12 in here and put this in a 16, but we'll see when that time comes. It's going to need new front tires, which I already have. It has a mule drive for a mower deck that I did end up buying. Pan seat. Uh, basically, this one's going to just get cleaned up and then uh, running and driving the way it is without doing a full restore on it. Uh, 3D print the center cap for it. Uh, next one is a 1971 or 72 Suburban 12. It's got, looks like originally a white dash, more than likely. So, and then 25630, I think that's 72. I'll have to check my paperwork to confirm that. But uh, 72 Suburban 12 has the wrong hood and grill. It's supposed to have the the ghost style grill, everybody calls it. But uh, I have a tractor that I can switch this hood out for and then uh, it'll have the proper grill. And then uh, this is gonna get a full restore uh, back to the original colors. Uh, this is kind of crusty looking. If I had the hood that was on it, I probably would leave it. But I bought that probably five years ago off this tractor. I did have 12 horse Tecumseh but it was all seized up. So we just pulled that out there uh, instead of lugging that all the way home because there's no point in lugging home an engine that isn't any good. And then uh, we've got a 76 ST10, which I thought set it on the hood. Here we are, the other side's missing the sticker. So it's ST10X. So these are kind of a neat tractor. So it's basically it's a custom, but it has a ST series uh, hood and grill. So 1973, they just called it ST10, and then 74 and 75, they didn't make it. 76, they made the ST10, which is a Murray Sears, and then they made this one, which is a Roper built Sears, and they called it X for Deluxe, I guess. So this one I got with a mower deck, because I don't have a mower deck for custom, so I decided that I should get one. Has a almost mint nose cone, other than this little crack in it. So under the hood, we've got probably the original 10 horse Tecumseh plastic gas tank that I'm gonna have to say I've never seen before, but that could be something on the ST10s. Nice and dry inside. Kind of smells like a barn in there, so they might have drained the gas out. Doesn't matter, because now that I see it, there's no carburetor, so I'm gonna have to get a new carburetor for this, which is no big deal. Missing the ignition coil, but I have one, or I can pull one off of a parts engine I have. Engine turns. Starter's stuck. Don't feel any compression. Oh, there it is. So it turns and has compression, so that's good. This tractor's in really good shape. Just a little sun faded from, you know, sitting outside for probably six years at least. Uh, that's just as far as I've known about it. So basically just uh, wet sand this and that'll bring the original yellow back out and that'll be just a running, driving, mowing original tractor. I do need a, a small mower because my other mower is a 62 inch deck and it's huge. So like mowing, you know, the grass like in this boneyard here and stuff. I wanted a little mower deck, so this will be perfect for that. Then we have a Suburban 15. Yep, Suburban 15, uh, of course has 15 horse Briggs, which is the thing people really like about these tractors. 
has this cool little horde ornament that when I restore this, I probably will just end up leaving on there because it looks different. Unfortunately, someone cut the hood, so I'm going to have to repair that. That's unfortunate. And then uh, this hood just kind of falls off when I open it, so I'll just kind of move that forward. And then it looks like someone had this battery tray out for some reason, but everything I can tell is intact. So maybe they were working on the wiring and just gave up. This dash looks like it's in pretty rough shape. Like it's been busted, repaired multiple times. So I'm gonna have to, you know, when I restore this one, pull that dash out and put some fiberglass in there and fix it again. So I'm missing the cover for here, uh, but I could make one of those out of a piece of metal, you know, cut it out and fabricate one of those from scratch. That's not too big of a deal. Hood's cut out here. Someone made a bracket for something and cut that, so that, that'll have to be filled in. Has a side grill piece, which is nice. And then of course I completely missed this little vacuum kind of thing. If anybody knows anything about this, uh, let me know down in the comments. So we were just about done loaded and I was walking towards the front and then I found this just as personal handyman. This was in like their walk behind area and I decided, you know what, I, I have to have it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I just thought it was cool. So I had to have it. I don't see any tag on it anywhere other than it's a three horsepower Briggs. See if I can find on the side of the engine here, a uh, model type code. It looks like it is a 1972. So that is pretty cool that it's from the 70s. Well, I mean, it, it looks like it. Engine has good compression for a three horse. Recoil works nice and good, so that's pretty cool. I was thinking, because our driveway always gets kind of, you know, filthy full of sand, it seems like, that we have a leaf blower bag from one of those leaf blowers, you can put the bag on it and vacuum with it, uh, that I could shove on the end of this and then uh, vacuum whatever with it, I guess. I don't know. But uh, that might get a video of its own someday. We'll see. I just kind of got it just because. And then we have a 66 Suburban 10, I believe. Of course, it doesn't say. So 66 Suburban 10 or 12. 9179411. I can look that up and put that in the video on what this is. Uh, this has three different brackets to hold the hood to the tractor, which is weird why the original one isn't good enough. So being a 66, it has the steering that was specific to these, and the steering wheel is more horizontal than like that 15. If you see, the steering wheel is just about flat, and the 15 is, you know, more like this. So this is more like David Bradley than a Roper built tractor. Uh, just kind of unique to the 66s. Uh, this is gonna just get a full restoration. Some kind of Honda clone or some kind of engine like that, we'll see. Uh, the tires that's on the front don't quite fit right, so they're kind of sticking off to the side. There's a bunch of metal welded on it, so I'm gonna have to cut all that off to restore it, but don't mind having metal like that around has uh, this bracket here for the big hay band snowblower, which is not really any good to me in Florida, but it's good to have. Has uh, this little bracket here, which is part of the PTO engager. It moves that piece in there. So that's interesting. And this lever here is probably part of the snowblower. Uh, probably to control the chute, more than likely. And then, uh, yeah, this will just get a full restore. And then we've got a Suburban 10, original pull start model because it doesn't have the headlights, which is neat. Fortunately, front grille is busted. Front grille's broken. Has some kind of Kumsa, I don't know, um, under the hood. So it has a stack that is definitely not installed very well. It's just sitting on there, so that exhaust leaked a little bit. Missing the carburetor, probably had one of those up, updraft carburetors that came off to the side. This engine I'm not really sure about what I'm gonna do with it. 
oil is very, very black. Original gas tank, so that engine may or may not work. I'm gonna have to get a carburetor and intake or something for that, and that might be able to work. Better than nothing, I guess. Uh, this one, just another restore, of course, 67 Suburban 10. I only have, I think, one more of these, so I'll have two, one original, one restored. This one, the frame has been torched out, so I'll have to get a piece of metal and uh, fill that back in and repair that. So, of course, another full restore job, but who knows what engine that's going to get just yet. And then uh, one of my favorite tractors that they've made, 1976 SS16. Of course, when I say they're my favorite, one of the things I don't like about these is they have that plastic dash that's always broke. But it has, of course, the beefier seat spring, which I'm a fan of. I like those. So that's nice to have. Another pan seat. Seems like all these tractors, but like two or three of them have pan seats on them. So that's kind of neat. I have some older tractors that'll be perfect on. Uh, this one is actually going to become, more than likely, my new work tractor for a Sears. Because it's the style I like. So it'll be probably painted silver and black or white and black. With uh, probably roper on the side or something like that. I have a Predator 420 that's going to for sure go in this one. It's going to get the correct hood. Uh, that hood's just sitting on it. And uh, yeah, there'll be a video on this one. Then we've got a 1973 uh, SS16. So just the older version of this, 76 basically. Uh, seat spring is just sitting on there. I had to pull that off another tractor. Uh, gas tank is definitely beyond repair. And something I've never seen before is there's actually a little wall in here so if i like stick my hand in this hole there's like a divider plate in there that yeah see that ain't that weird i didn't know that so i guess when you put gas in here you're not actually getting the full tank you're only getting about three quarters of it and this last little bit here is just nothing i never knew that before so i just don't know why they didn't just make the whole tank one that's odd but this one will just get, you know, the proper hood. That one's just sitting on there. I have a tractor that hood's going to go on. That's original paint, so that'll be perfect. Uh, paint on this will just be cleaned up. I'm going to put a make a new hood for the Onan style. And then I do have a few Onans I can put in this. I have a 20-horse Onan out of my 318 that I could put in here and make it into an SS20, which would be kind of cool. And I actually make a custom decal for the side that says SS20. I make some a little bit different. Of course, that'll get a video of its own. And then uh, we've got a John Deere 425. This one is a 1994, I believe. All wheel steer, I mainly wanted it because I wanted the transmission. Because uh, one of my X series, uh, the transmission, the reverse on it has some issues. So this transmission more than likely is good. So I'm gonna switcheroo this one and that one. The all-wheel steer part is kind of unfortunate, so I'm going to have to change the axle shafts uh, from this all-wheel steer and make it solid axles, and then maybe sell these all-wheel steer axles to someone that wants them. And then I do have a couple of spare of these transmissions that are in pretty rough shape. They have problems. Hoping, uh, because I'm not in a hurry to have this tractor running, hoping that within that time that I can make one good axle out of a bunch of bad ones I have, put that in here. Uh, you can get the whole hood and grill and all that stuff on eBay for like 400 bucks. Comes with all the decals and everything uh, to complete the hood and everything. So that's pretty cheap for what it is. And then I have four of the right tires. I can put these on the other tractor of mine and then put those tires on this one. And then both tractors have the right tires. I'm going to have to get an engine for it. I do have the correct engine for this uh, that I already had off of a golf course mower. But I really wanted to put a diesel or something like that in here, so I'll probably just wait and find an engine like that for it. it has a drive shaft. Uh, it's missing the coupler for that, which is no big deal. And it's also missing the hydraulic cylinder for the power steering. But being a John Deere, you know, you can buy basically all the parts for this brand new. Uh, reverse pedal uh, is missing. So I've looked those up already. You can get those online for like 20 bucks, a metal one to upgrade it from the old plastic one that broke. And then uh, last but not least is a 64, I believe, custom 600. Uh, this is the only style of front grill I didn't have. So now I have every single style. I have actually every single Sears model 
except I'm still missing a couple of the customs, but I'm sure I won't be missing those for long. This front grill, there's a two inch piece missing out of that, so I'm gonna have to attach something in there to fill that in. It's broken along the bottom, so I'm gonna have to do some repairing on the grill. But uh, this grill's definitely uh, savable just because it's very rare to see a custom 600. They only made these, I believe, 64 and 65. Steering ster uh, steers on this one, uh, which is hard to find on these customs. If they sit outside for a period of time, that little piece in the middle here will get seized up, and uh, sometimes you can get them unstuck, sometimes you can't. This one at least works, so that's nice. Steering will have to get replaced because it's not the right one and it's kind of bent up. I have the other fender that's going to need all four tires. This one will be probably full restore just because it's in pretty rough shape. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put a little diesel in this one just because it's a cool little tractor. And instead of putting like a Predator in there, I think I'm going to go with one of those little Chinese diesel engines. Stick that in here. Got to weld the seat. Uh, repair, you know, that because that's the original uh, square seat that's specific to the 600s. So that's kind of nice to have that, you know, just to make it more original that I got the right seat for it. And of course, lastly, we've got the pallets and stuff. We've got the headlight panel and hood support for the front of that 425. Got a decent uh, hood and hood support for my John Deere 300 I bought a few months ago uh, because that was in pretty rough shape. So just getting all new body panels for that and uh, fix that up. I guess they're not new. They're, you know, new to me, I guess, that they're, they're, they're very used. And then these fenders look like they're probably off a of 318 or something similar. I like those style of fenders better. I like the headlights, or the taillights, rather, in those a little bit better. The gas tank under the seat ain't going to matter because I'm not going to put a gas tank under there because I believe the 300, it's more in the center. But I'm not going to even uh, put a gas tank under the seat for the engine that's going in there. I do have a grill and side covers for this. Here's the side covers for the 300, and I know I have the grill as well. It's on one of these pallets. I just saw it a few minutes ago, but uh, I guess we'll get to that. And then we've got a uh, Sears transmission. Looks like it's out of an orange custom. That was just sitting there, so of course I had to buy this as well. Has a smaller pulley on it for a custom as well as the bent shifter. Those are nice to have. And then we've got a Sears starter generator cover, which is missing the... Uh, the mesh piece but i can make that or just not have that and then uh some hood brackets for custom and that fender for the 600 honda eight horse i believe this is a really old honda uh back when they had this older label so this is probably from the 80s yep honda eight horse uh 242 cc uh kind of a cool engine so definitely older than the ones i'm used to doesn't have the emissions tag on the side so you know it's old Got one of these, it was laying on the ground. It was a spare one for the SS15, which I guess already has one, but these are specific to those. Uh, so that's nice to have as a spare. Then we've got, looks like part of the tire on the 600. So good thing I have that. Eight horsepower Briggs that I need to get out of the rain because it's just totally exposed. I've got a radiator uh, with hoses and a fan for that Kubota liquid cooled diesel that I'll get to in a minute couple of spare steering wheels I found. Uh, those will take some modifications to fit on a Sears, but they should work. Then we've got an alternator and starter for the Kubota diesel uh, because we're missing on that hood support that must have fell off one of the Sears. Uh, John Deere drive shaft, which is for my 300. A bunch of miscellaneous pulleys. One Sears hubcap. We could not find the other one. Uh, I have the two front ones and I have one of the back ones. We could not we looked for like a half hour to find the last one. Could never find it, so I guess I'll just have three for now. Then we've got an Onan muffler shroud off of, I believe that SS16. It had an Onan in it, but it was seized up, so we just pulled it out there instead of lugging that home. And then we've got a couple of taillight panels for the SS16s, Onan shroud, and whatever else is in there. Suburban 10 front grill to replace that broken one where the side here is broken. Suburban 10 grill that or uh, hood rather than a need for another project has the dash for one of my David Bradley's so it's nice to have custom front grill that I need for a project coming up and then this is a hood that was on 
that SS16 that I didn't even know I had until I came home with it. Then we've got a spare tire and then a couple of snowblower tires. These tires were for that SS16, but that SS16 was missing a hub. So we went digging in his like transmission pile where he pulled out of the tractors that were like too far gone and they're like fully parted out. And then uh, we took the hub off of the one that came with the tire. So I ended up grabbing the other tire so I had a matching set. And then these will probably end up on the Custom 600 because they're that really cool old looking tread. And then of course those uh, fatter tires will go on this SS16. And then of course uh, we've got some skinny tires on the back of the 15 I completely forgot about. Uh, dual tires, those will end up on probably something else than the 15, but we'll see. And then uh, last pallet will be a 48 inch Sears deck, which is not perfect. It's gonna need a little bit of repair. There's some rust going on here. Uh, just to repair, you know, before it gets worse. Then we've got three John Deere seats, which are not perfect. This one isn't too bad. That one's got a couple of small tears in it. This one has a tear here. It's like, you know what? I didn't wanna spend $100 on a seat for some new seats, so I grabbed these. And then uh, I can uncover this Kubota diesel because from here it's going inside and it's not raining right now, so. Two cylinder, I believe it's a 10 or 12 horsepower. So this will be really cool in a shaft drive Sears project I'm working on. Guess that wind picked up, I'm sorry about that. So of course the alternating starter is missing, that's down there. But I have the coupler for it so I can attach the drive shaft to that. Uh, it's got an oil filter, so that's nice. Muffler, basically everything is here to make this engine run. Uh, besides the fuel pump, which is fine because I'll just get a new one of those. Uh, John Deere dozer blade, I'm not really sure what it fits. It's not a hydraulic powered one. I believe it's one that mounts with a cable. I don't know too much about these. I was hoping I can do some modifications and uh, make this at least fit on my 318, if not the 300, and uh, make it hydraulic powered, which shouldn't be too bad. I call it a dozer blade, it's actually snow plow, but I was saying before I'm in Florida, so there's no snow here. So I'm gonna take these uh, trip springs off and then probably weld this solid or weld a bar in here or something Because I don't want a trip spring. I want it to be solid probably take these Skid things off just make it to push dirt because there's no snow here But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video um, Yeah, if you know anything about this little vacuum thing, let me know down in the comments and there's gonna be a lot more coming soon It's gonna be a very busy year and uh, thanks for watching